and hello there, it's Honey Badger 986 here, back again with another Kerbal Space Program video for you. Now, since my last video, I've stumbled on some interesting mods. First of which is the Environmental Visual Enhancement mod, and the other one, if you notice the Dragon 2 capsule in the background, you've guessed it, is the Last Tech SpaceX mod. And for my first Falcon 9 launch, I'll be launching the TICOM 6 which was launched on January the 6th, 2014, the very first uh, Falcon 9 launch of the year. And here it is, the Falcon 9 two-stage rocket with its payload, the TICOM-6. Uh, now the TICOM-6 is Thailand's telecommunications satellite that was launched into a geosynchronized orbit. Now to get into a geosynchronized orbit in Kerbal, you need to reach the height of 2,868.4 kilometers and a velocity of 1,009 meters per second. So to get our satellite into a geosynchronized orbit, we're just going to launch normally and orbit in a higher altitude than I usually do of 100 kilometers. Now, the Falcon rocket is actually being developed into a reusable rocket to lower the price of space travel even further. And personally, it's pretty cool what Elon Musk and SpaceX is doing. And I hope they succeed. And I hope they can do what they've promised to actually put a colony on Mars within. 10 to 12 years. So the first stage has uh, separated and what will happen to the first stage is what they're developing with the uh, grasshopper technology is that it will fly back and land vertically on the ground at the launch pad and it would also apply to the second stage um, which if they can develop this technology it would be really good for uh, space travel because like Elon says it's a stupid thing to uh, fly Boeing 747 and throw it away every time you flew it once that would be ridiculous and we're coming up to the point where we're going to burn for orbit and I'm going to also separate my fairing just after I burn for orbit like that. So I'm not aiming for an equal orbit here. I'm actually going to burn and try to uh, pull the apple apps all the way up to the altitude of 2,868.4 kilometers or roughly around that height and there you can see the TICOM-6 satellite and now when you've got the Apple apps to roughly the right altitude I'm gonna add a maneuver node to uh, try to equalize the orbit here so now I'm coming up to the maneuver node estimate burn time is around 12 seconds so I'm going to start burning at 6 seconds Okay, so you don't have to actually get it perfect. So once you deploy your payload, you can actually use the satellite boosters, which is less powerful than the Merlin rocket engine, to maneuver and adjust your orbit. So I'll be showing you some more um, Falcon 9 launches in my future videos. Uh, I already start a moon colony with the Falcon Heavy. Uh, I'm going to show you that 
soon. And I also docked a Dragon version 1 on the ISS, and maybe I'll show you the docking of Dragon version 2 in one of my future episodes. And if you're wondering what's going to happen to the Falcon 9 second stage behind the satellite there, well, all you have to do is select it and burn retro for its descent into re entry. And here you have the TICOM 6 in its stationary orbit around Kerbin. And that's all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed a small demonstration of the Falcon 9 rocket. I'll hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. This is Honey Badger 986 signing out.